Hello! If we're just meeting for the first time, I'm Carla Sugar, and before we start this video, I just want to thank everybody who subscribed to me. I know it's been a long time since I made a video, and this is the first one with talking in it. There are two Mac collections out right now. One is called Peacocky, the other one is called Mickey Contractor, and I thought we could talk about them before the next Big Mac collection comes out. Uh, that'll be Wonder Woman, and it's right around the corner. Both Peacocky and Mickey Contractor released on January 6th in North America. Um, Peacocky includes two new kinds of products. The first is Mega Metal Eyeshadows, and the second is Kissable Lip Color, which is basically a liquid lipstick. Mickey Contractor is more of a traditional collection for MAC. It's a collaboration with a Bollywood makeup artist whose name is Mickey Contractor, and it includes eyeshadow and eyeshadow quad, blushes, lipsticks, lip glosses. The bad news is it's only being sold through the top 22 best-selling counters in North America, so if you're not in one of those cities, your only option is to order online, and a lot of pieces sold out right away. One more thing, if there's any image that you'd like to see in higher resolution, you know, YouTube compresses everything. All the original images are on my blog, which is carlasugar.net. I'll put that web address down in the comments section. I was initially a little bit worried about the Mega Metal shadows because I remembered the Metal X shadows from a few years ago. Metal X were cream shadows that were somewhat prone to creasing, and I'm pleased to report that Mega Metal, nothing like Metal X. Um, the Mega Metal shadows are basically a very satiny feeling powder, all the shades are shimmery, they're really lovely. Uh, they're a little more expensive than your traditional MAC shadows. They are 1950 instead of 1450, but you do get a larger sized pot, so you're getting 3.4 grams instead of 1.35 grams, which is the traditional eyeshadow size. Um, Pikachu is a champagne beige color. I really liked it, but I'm relatively fair skinned, and it was sort of sheer on me. So the darker your skin tone, the more sheer it's going to be. It's just something to keep in mind when you're shopping. Dalliance is gorgeous. It's silvery green, and I'm pretty sure it looks good on everyone. Prance is a silvery lavender. Um, Top of the Posh is an almost lilac-y pink that reflects gold. Tweet Me is a peachy, rosy, melon pink that reflects gold. Maiden Call is a pinkish purple, kind of like the color of an African violet. Odalisk is teal with gold sparkles. Sexpectations is a rosy brick red, or maybe a bricky rose. Paparazzi is pretty orange, kind of like an electric carrot. Um, Ego is a blackened blue-green, not to be confused with the Star Flash Ego shade, which was actually a pale pink. Noir Plum is a blue-violet. Dandazette is a blackened denim blue. Spectacle of Yourself is a foxy, rusty red. Center stage is a warm, nutty brown, and unflappable is this absolutely beautiful gray-brown. As I mentioned before, the kissable lip colors are liquid lipsticks. You can apply them straight from the tube. They have a doe's foot applicator. You can shear them out. You can even mix shades. Woo Me is a nude rose. Super is a rosy beige brown. Temper Tantra is rosewood. Love Peck is burgundy brown. So Vain is light peach. Exhibitionist is a hot coral pink. Strut Your Stuff is bright, warm red. Enchante is pale, cool pink. Vanity Fair is medium pink. It's even cooler. Scandalicious is a vivid rose. Flaunting It is dusty purple. Peacocky is blue, and I'm sure you're wondering who's going to wear it. If you're going as a Smurf for Halloween, you definitely need it. Since the kissable lip colors are mixable, you can use it to cool down another shade. So it has mixing possibilities, even if you're not quite ready to wear it on its own. Mickey Contractor has been doing Bollywood's makeup for 32 years. He really influenced the industry, and his collection with MAC is vibrant and beautiful. The Athma Quad is $36, and it is everything you need to create Contractor's signature earth tone smoky eye. John is a peachy flesh tone with a few gold sparkles. It's technically a luster formula, but it doesn't behave like a luster at all. Lusters are sometimes really sheer, or they're all glitter. John is more like a satin. It's nicely textured and it has great pigment. Foley is a matte red chocolate. Viva is a yellow, almost an olive brown with tiny gold sparkles. Carbon is Max matte black. It's nothing exceptional. It's a permanent shade. It pops up in a lot of collections. 
There are two fluid lines in this collection. Um, fluid lines are cream eyeliners. They're $15. People pretty much went nuts over these. Ivy is a bright emerald green and Siahi is peacock blue. Then there are four eyeshadow singles. These are $14.50 each. Saffron, named after the world's most expensive spice by weight, is an almost matte red-orange with these tiny sparkles. Rani is a satin finish hot pink and it also has these tiny little sparkles which just keep it from being a matte. Marvel is a buildable deep blue-purple satin with tiny blue sparkles and Oomph is a buildable very blackened green shimmer. There are two blushes, or I should say a blush and a highlighter. Ghana is this beautiful, delicate champagne shimmer. I tried to swatch it heavily, it just never got frosty. Sur is a dusty brown rose. Both of these are 1850. They're both beautiful. There are four Mickey Contractor lipsticks. I only swatched two. Yash is a nude mauve beige pink, and Mare is a blue rose. I forgot Mocha is a permanent shade. I have a swatch of it on my blog if you haven't seen it. I haven't personally seen Gulabi, but it is a bright fuchsia amplified cream. There are also two lip glasses. Flesh is a yellow caramel color. I haven't seen Lust, but it's supposed to be a soft muted pink. Lipsticks and lip glasses are $14.50 each. The collection also has a few face products. As far as I know, these are limited edition, which is a little surprising. There are three new shades of Studio Fix Fluid Foundation, NC41, NC43.5, and NC44.5. These are $26. I haven't seen them. What I do have swatched here are the four Select Moisture Cover Concealer shades, NC23, NC43, NC44, and NC45.5. These are $16.50 each. There's also a dual-ended Select Moisture Cover Concealer. One end is a burnt orange, and the other end is sort of a canary yellow. Contractor said this product was intended to tweak a foundation or concealer that's close but not quite right for your skin. You can also use it as a color corrector to adjust darkness under the eyes or around the mouth. And one last thing, I thought Yash looked really familiar when I swatched it, so I swatched it next to a few other shades for comparison. There are a couple that are pretty close, so if you can't get your hands on this one, don't panic. That's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed.